Now, 27 storm track weather with meteorologist Alexis Clemens. Well, right now we're trying to take a look outside from the w WKOW tower cam, but you can tell behind me a lot of fog going on in a lot of southern Wisconsin. We do have a dense fog advisory. This actually does not include Dane County. It's areas to the north until 10 o'clock this morning. But as we take a look at your visibility map out there, you'll notice that more of us are dealing with uh, at least some patchy fog out there. Middleton, Baraboo, Juneau, Fond du Lac, Montello, Camp Douglas, even Platteville under a mile mile of visibility and it's pretty close to that in Madison as well low in Monroe and Janesville there. Uh, so if you have to go anywhere this morning, take it a little bit slower out there. Definitely foggy through probably the mid to late morning hours. Current temperatures 26 in Madison, 27 in Baraboo and Lone Rock, 25 in Reedsburg and Camp Douglas, 32 in Janesville. Feeling a little bit cooler out there. Feels like temperatures as low as 17, 18 degrees out there. Definitely a cooler start to the day, but we are warming up. A lot of people already camping out for the Wisconsin game against Purdue at noon today. Temperatures will warm into the low 40s again, starting out with that fog, but by the lunch hour, we should see more sunshine out there. As we go through the next several days, temperatures continuing to stay well above average. That average high being 28 degrees. I think we'll see the first 50s of the year by Thursday, uh, which would be actually the first time since December 26. The average first time that we see the 50s is typically a little bit later on uh, by about February 22nd. So it's definitely going to feel like spring if it hasn't already across uh, southern Wisconsin. Clouds and radar. I just wanted to show you again that rain system that we talked about uh, to our south yesterday, still providing a lot of rain over parts of the Great Plains, the southern part of the United States there. Now, we are not expecting any precipitation over the next couple of days. However, that does look to change as we head into the middle and later part of the week. I think today, tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, all going to stay dry. It's as we head into Thursday and Friday, that seems to be the best chance for some precipitation. So that's what we'll be kind of watching there. And I, when I say precipitation, I really do mean just rain because these temperatures staying well above freezing, except for tonight and Monday night. But after that, those high temperatures in the 40s and 50s, low temperatures, uh, very warm as well. It'll be breezy with this rain system there too.